Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome back. Today we're doing the 800 through 899 level on chess.com. There are a lot of underrated puzzles at this level. Um, it actually gives me quite a bit of trouble to, to like do them really fast. I definitely feel like I have to slow down compared to previous videos. So this one could be like a 32 minute video or something easily. This one we need to capture the rook or like chase it and then go up there. But we'll, we'll see. Because I do know a lot of the underrated puzzles for the most part, so um, so it might not be, it might not take too long. But I can see like people doing some of these puzzles for the first time, it could really mess you up because you're used to a lot of like smothered mates and, and other basic things, but they give you some pretty advanced stuff um, in there randomly. So have to always be careful. And in chess news today, I uh, just found out Magnus withdrew from the, I guess the Sinkfield Cup going on. And there's some talk about Hans and stuff. It's still too early to even for me to give any details. And I'm not really gonna get into it, but if you're on Reddit, you already know um, what people are talking about. So, um, I was watching some of Naka's stream earlier. Okay, let's go here because that um text that this is an interesting one. I'll just I'll just say if you go here it's a mistake they can force a nice draw so you actually have to go like like that. So go there, take the rook. They didn't promote. Usually I always assume they're gonna promote but that one was one where they didn't do it. Okay, what is this? I can take and then oh, I really thought it was gonna be that. I wonder why it's not um, taking the rook, taking with the rook first. And this is a nice pattern to know. Um, there's a few, there's one that's like 2000 rated that's very similar, but it's like more moves to lead up to that type of pattern on the other side of the board as well. Okay. Um, I'll go here to end. That's a nice one, just moving on to block. And now I'm confused. I kind of want to go here. I don't think it's that though. Ooh, I actually don't know. Wait, it is that. Okay, these are all just, oh no. We got to take there, remove the defender. Just move this pawn. I never really calculate those. I just trust that it'll work out because it kind of has to. This one, I think I took there the first time I tried it, but you have to take this and then take the, I mean, take the bishop at the end. This will distract from the queen. They don't have rooks, so you don't have to worry about back rank mate. Um, here we threaten checkmate on h7. Okay, could probably just take, and then if we go here, they take with check. So I'm gonna go here and now make a thing. Okay, let's go here. Remember that one. And this one is pretty simple as well. Just have to get the right order of the rooks. Okay, I go here, and if they try to back rank me, back rank mate me, we can protect with the queen like that. And this one is weird, like figuring out what color you are and what things are going. But I've seen that one before, so it's a little easier to adjust to it. And that's really the main benefit of me grinding on a lot of these lower rated puzzles, is that some decisions, I just have a better idea of what's likely to be it. Okay, this is that um, Arabian mate pattern we always see. Okay, now how do we take here? Probably take this way, because if we take the other way, I think the rook takes back, and then they have extra um, an extra defensive piece with the rook. Okay, so this, that looks right, and oh, we just kind of win the queen. We give up everything else, but it's just winning in the end. Sometimes those can be tricky because if you're down too much material, just when the queen isn't going to be enough. Well, let's take with the pawn. And let's take this way. And then give that check. Okay, so here we got to do that intermediate move first. Here, I know the bishop is there, so I'm just going to plan for going that way. Make sure they're not stalemated. If the bishop was still here, for some reason it was their move, it would be stalemate. So. 
I wonder if that's part of what tricks some people. If I take this, I lose the knight, so I'll take with that. Queen's guarding this, so we just move the king out the way and not worry about anything. This this is probably one of the underrated puzzles. It's like that bishop sacrifice, and it leads to like a breakthrough. It makes sense once you see the move, but um, but it can definitely be tricky to play on the first time. Here you gotta get in front of the pawn, or else they can force making a queen pretty early. Now I guess I'll just push the pawn, try to promote. Okay, they didn't block with the knight. I would have had to figure out how to remove the knight. Now this I can take and then discover attack and win that. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I'll wait this and then take and this. Nothing's guarding g7. Go here. If they were to take, I was going to go up here. I'm going to go up here anyway. That's like the best move. That was a mouse slip. And for those these puzzles too, like you have to make sure that this rook isn't pinned because sometimes you can't go for that queen sacrifice. Then here's another one. It's like three in a row. Um, and then there's some people that complains in the comments of those puzzles. But if you know you have to look out for the pin, then you'll still be almost as fast as normal. So it's like that's kind of what how you get better at like all tactics is eventually you find stuff that works while doing it really quickly and then it doesn't work one day and you have to figure out well, what is the difference how do you identify that difference quickly and it usually means you have to add another check to your checklist of things to um to verify before a pattern that you think you know is actually valid so just is all about like some rules but also exceptions to the rules i kind of want to go here because if they take you go here i think this is one of those underrated ones too because you'd have to see that. Um, let's just push this and didn't really have to calculate that. There's just nothing else to do in the position, I think. But if you had more time, it would be worth being able to tell if you're actually winning or not. Unless you're low on time. Also, what color are we? Okay, we gotta go here. I think I've tried to take the knight before. We just win more material by taking another thing. The queen is undefended, so we look for that um, discovered attack or I don't even know if that was a discovered attack. Okay, they had a fast pawn, but our queen was still guarding it. So take, queen goes out the way, and we get a fork. Take the rook. Smothered mate. Okay, we got a fork. They can go down here, but we can stop them. We got a remove defender, then try to go. Well, not there because the knight's guarding, but there's something else, probably. Okay, they are doing that. We can go here, and then bring the bishop back. Okay, the knight was guarding the other typical move you do there. Okay, this one, it's, you gotta go here, and the rook is attacking, and now you can take, because they're attacking the queen, so you actually have to do something about that. Now this, ooh, oh wait, yeah, it's that because you need to take the rook, there's not like checkmate or anything. Okay, they have a knight guarding that square. Nice thing about chess at com puzzles, there always is going to be one solution for the most part. This is a bad puzzle, that was a mouse slip. Alright, so let's go here and then we can take because knight's guarding h7. They have a queen and bishop that was guarding it, so if you're not careful, you'll just get checkmated. Now, this, we can go here and then that opens up that checkmate square. Okay, we can go here and then that lead to main. And again, to make sure we're not pinned, because they have a bishop on e1, we're actually not, but actually we would have been in check if that were the case, so. But still, nonetheless, you have to, oops, not there. Let's go here. Can't really stop that too easily. But luckily, I guess they're just getting like back rank mated or something. Okay, this is a free queen. I almost took the pawn. Now we go here, and then, actually I don't know, oh wait, we got that. Okay, so I guess we try to make a queen, and then we can take, and we have an extra rook in the end. Okay, let's go here, attack these two, they defend one, so we take the other. I don't know how that continues really, but, um, yeah, I'm fine to go for it. I feel like we have to trade queens here. Okay, they're pinned, they can't take with the bishop. And then we get a smutter mate. So after all those other puzzles, they give us like a very big. This was also like 
one that's very, very basic here, and then here, and now they have to give up defense of that. If they were to go to the other square when we take back with the bishop, it would have still been okay for us, um, because the rook would just recapture and defend the bishop. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh no, there's this check, and then this check, and then free rook. Okay, there's this, and then this. Okay, checkmate. Um, oh man, I was really unsure about this or that, but it's actually just that fork. And I kind of remember that one too. Actually, if I go here, they take that. But we have a, so again, we have to have a fork and on facade. If you didn't have on facade, we'd be checkmated. So there's probably people in the comments talking about this is a bugged problem. Right, taking that. Move out the way. Now, I guess we go here and eventually hope they can't protect that. They probably could have done a better job at um at protecting the bishop and made it more difficult for me to find the next move, but they just moved all the way away, so I just take the piece, there's a discover check. I'll get this check along the diagonal. Let's see, am I recording? Yeah, like eleven minutes in. Free night. Uh, almost way here. So here, this is a nice diagonal we have, and then this. Now we just look for a discover attack, and we just go for one that attacks the queen, and it turns out that's actually it. Have a bishop protecting the queen. Um, I kind of want to go here, but it's actually just a checkmate. And the main thing that made me keep looking was the queen was defended by the knight, so I wouldn't really be winning the queen in that situation. There's another smothered mate. Um, I was looking for ideas of taking and sacrificing, but I don't. I don't see it, so I'll take that and that. Like, the way you would, that would work is if um, I take and it leads to a knight fork where I win the queen back, but there wasn't anything like that. I had to move on. And actually, I'm doing okay. I just changed myself. I'm actually doing okay on these puzzles. Mm -hmm. um, gotta think with the queen first. Don't get any back rank issues. And I guess the... Wait, no, 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 because... This time the queen is actually unprotected, so it works out. Can't stop that with the rook, so we have to bring the king in. Um, have to remove one of the rooks so we can set up the back rank mate. I don't know if this is like Greco's mate or anything. Like when with this, usually it's like a bishop guarding that diagonal. Okay, another smothered mate. It'd be nice if all of them were just like smothered mate or just checkmate. That'd probably be good for like the. Um, or or something. I don't know. Okay, I got. I kind of want to go here. That one's a weird one. That one. That one might be underrated. I don't know. Okay, we got this bug where it's like the pieces are kind of weird. I think I have to drag. Yeah, I just have to drag one like the blank space, and then you can pick up the pieces normally. If that ever happens. Um, and I can kind of force the bug to just buy. Um. I think like copying, it's like when you drag and you, then you have like the coordinates in the clipboard. I think that's what happens. Okay, but we're fine. Moving on. Okay, this queen is pinned, so okay, now we have a rook in the end, so easy win. Our um, pawn is pinned, they move out the way. I guess I'll go here. And this is another one where if you go here, they can set up a nice draw, so you have to. It's like an opposition type of problem. I do see the opposition tag there. Okay, we'll just check, and then usually that'll lead to some knight fork. Like, if there wasn't one already, it would just be a knight fork after you give that check. So if they take, we have a diagonal checkmate. Um, just checkmate, because we got a bishop guarding that square. And this is nice. We go here, here, and take the queen. I thought there was actually going to be some other checkmate or something, but there wasn't. Go here, attack that. Move out the way to give up the queen. Um, let's go here, they can't stop it. Go there, back rank. Go up here, just checkmate in one. They have a knight guarding that, so we're just gonna go this way. Um, go here, and then, oh no, we can't go there. We gotta go here, and do like that. Okay, that would have been a good one for me to learn. This one might be under right too. The ones where it just seems like you're winning a pawn are, all, are always a little, a little weird, because they're not like your typical tactics that you'd see. In an actual game, it is like the main way I feel like I've won games. 
when I was around 1500 would I be winning a pawn somehow and then I just um, trade down into a winning endgame from that. But a lot of these you need like two pawns advantage or more. I don't know what's going on. Okay, that one was weird for me. Uh, queen's unprotected, kind of like the other one. That, but the other one I had missed, or yeah, I did miss it once. But this time I was more ready for that pattern. I I know I think I mouse slipped on that one and played a three once during training. Okay, queen's guarding that square, so you can't go there. That was mouse slip trying to go up there, and then stop here. Okay, dovetail mate. We're at 216 so far. Okay, we can take this and then fork. I was thinking we need to fork that one. I saw that the rook would move out the way when it recaptures, but we could just um, fork with the other rook. So that was nice. And okay, let's go here and here for checkmate. Here, this rook is unprotected. Why you need to develop. Actually, we have the same type of bishop where it's kind of not coordinate with our our pieces. Um, okay, go here. Maybe they're trapped. And I'll go here because that protects that, and then they just get a lot of squares cut off. Now this, I don't know for sure what's going on. But if we go here and then here, we just have a lot a lot more pawns, so that's what's going on. It's nice the bishop's guarding all those squares, so it's kind of turned into like a skewer situation. Um, okay, go there. Queen knight coordination is very powerful. Okay, I guess that's wrong. Let's take that. And that's a nice one. That one I've seen before is another smothered mate. Doesn't matter if I've seen a smothered mate before or not. You get just recognize it instantly anyway. Go here and if not we fork these ones which is what happens. Okay go here. We always have to make sure that we have room for the king when they give that check. If you're not checking for that then you risk you risk getting checkmated when you see that pattern in a real game. Or in a different tactical um, puzzle where that's actually not the solution. Now I'm very confused about this one, because I can't go here, I feel like I can't go here. I, mean, I could take, oh wow, and then that distracts him from that, that's crazy. Okay, so I'll give this because it's check, and then take the queen. Uh, I think we go here, and then not there, that was a mouse slip. Okay, let's go up here, and take the knight. Also, I don't know, um, this one is a weird one, but maybe you can tell like from these videos that I do not really know my coordinates that well and I just don't really care to practice them to where I could say, okay, queen takes d7, then king takes g7. Like I just have to look at the letters and I've been playing chess for like a long time, although I've taken some breaks. I think the most... Um, practice I've gotten with it is really just going to tournaments because then you have to take notation but when you play online a lot it's not really that necessary and I do wonder because some people think in terms of the coordinates like when they're calculating in that auditory like hearing of um like king g7 c7 whatever like it kind of helps rather than if you're just visualizing and you're not doing that memory component by listening to um to your thoughts back so like if you're watching a movie you can sometimes remember what people are saying kind of clearly but i don't know i'm not explaining that right but it's okay but the thing is there is some benefit of knowing the coordinates in terms of like your actual calculation to help you remember what lines you've been calculating and I think one book that talked about it was Pub Up Your Rating by Axel Smith. I think in one of the, the um, chapters on, I don't know if it was Tactics for Calculation, but something like that. I think they do talk about that. But I'm still not really going to worry about it. There's another one of those patterns where if you choose wrong, you allow them a draw. 
Okay. I've been collecting that pattern too, where you um, rep check the king, and then they have to the, they have to move away from um, the queen. Another smothered mate. Okay, let's go up here, take, and then uh, mouse slip, I guess. Okay, we got this one. Used to be the most common pattern, I thought. This one we gotta go. So for once, I remembered you have to be in front of the most advanced pawn. But sometimes, like it would, I would freeze and not know exactly which pawn I was supposed to be taken. Okay, let's go up here and then take that. I guess the bishop was trapped. I guess, yeah, the knight was guarding the other squares. Ooh, queen side, because we're gonna make a new queen, and now we just want a rook there. Let's go here and take the queen. They don't want to get checkmated, obviously. Um, we go here first and then take, take, and take. Take, the queen's undefended. We're at 280, let's take. And then we just got to maintain pressure on the rook there. Make sure we're not getting checkmated. They do check and we can move out the way. G7 unprotected. We had a bishop that was also guarding. Can't go there because they have a queen. So we go that way and then we're prepared for them to move the queen. They take. We fork when the queen they're attacking the knights, so we give that intermediate move. Sometimes, like it with the bishop there, it was clearer in that one puzzle, but that one we just really need to save the knight. Oops, wait, hey, this is a weird one too. I need to get a little bit more used to that pattern, knowing because you know, at some point, it's one of those rooks that's going to lead to a checkmate, but sometimes the exact rook eludes me. Okay, smothered mate. Nice, like the maiden ones are nice. Okay, this one I kind of want to go here. Yeah, let's go here. Now this, we go here. Kind of tempted to take the rook there, but yeah, I didn't see it immediately here. And then we just have a fork. We have also moved to um, bishop to rook f3, so you have to be careful. Because then you would have to react and Move the bishop on a different square. Okay, let's take the knight. I was looking at other stuff for way too long. Uh, let's just take the rook. And we have to resize, make sure that rook isn't pinned. Okay, let's do that. Make sure chess.com logo isn't blocking stuff. Let's take with check and then take the bishop. And I know I did a check to see if I was recording, but I kind of want to check again. Let's go here and then threaten that. And yeah, we're at 22 minutes. Yeah, doing okay. Let's take that. They're pins. So they couldn't take it. They removed the fender of the thing, but it's okay. And let's see. We gotta give this check. And no matter which way they go with the king, it's gonna be okay. Okay, here's another one of these. Oh, we get a nice fork in the end. Okay, I get this check and check, and I guess it's checkmate. There's a dovetail. Oh no, it's not because we're pinned. So we gotta take that way, and then we have a nice like pattern there. Okay, let's take and take and take. Um, we want to not do that because the queen would take and protect, so we take that way, and then we have a checkmate. So we have discovered check opportunity. If you go for uh that was gonna be for this rook, we're actually just going to checkmate. Kinda like a hook mate, but with the queen. And let's take this h8 rook. Okay, let's move the thing, protect. Uh almost the Anastasia mate, but just a free thing. Oh, the point of this one is you have to learn how to defend against that stuff. Um okay, this smothered mate. Let's go here and then, yep. Okay, let's go here. This one is probably underrated too with those pawn moves that just, because it feels like a positional um, continuation. But, okay, now what is this? Oh, wait, the bishop is hanging. I only noticed it then. Oops, hit the analysis board. Okay, let's, no, not there. I was trying, I was gonna go there and then, um, and I saw the bishop was protecting it, so I thought, no, we probably shouldn't. Let's go here, because everything's protected, we're attacking the queen. Okay, let's fork, and then take the knight, and then take that. Now we're sub material. Take, and the rook is guarding, so let's go here. Free bishop, protect with the pawn. Freak, typical idea. 
bishop is guarding. Um, okay, here's another one of these. You have to make sure when I check, we're not getting back rank made it. And now let's take with the bishop so we have more material. Let's fork and take. They go here, we have to go here, and then if they check, we could take the knight. Okay, just pin the queen, gonna win it. Let's take, take that, like that. And wait, we we just wanna push the pawn because our pawn is gonna queen on the same color as their king. So if they didn't move the king, we would have been checking them and stopping them from promoting. They moved the king, so um it turned to a situation where they also promote, but we could take it on the next move. So it's very key not to take the rook first because it just gets their king off the square. Um, okay, they would take, but we have a rook versus bishop. Now, is there a checkmate? Yeah, there is. So I was tempted by the rook for a second, but see a good move, look for a better one. It's like the common advice. Let's get out the way. Let's take that and that. Okay, take and take. We're just up material. Let's take and then that's free. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll take. It's kind of like a defensive one. I don't know if we were gaining material there. Okay, let's go here. They check. We don't get back rank made it. Oh no, I was just taking this because we don't have a queen. We can't really do anything. This one I know I took with the pawn before, or I was confused why taking with the pawn is worse. And it's kind of like I don't fully get it. I just know you need to take with the queen. What is this? Okay, this discovered attack. Um, this is hanging. This looks dangerous. Nothing we can do is with check. Oh wait, let's take that. It kind of tackles two of those problems. Okay, can't go there. I have a bishop. Give a check though. Okay, we're in check. And let's take with the thing. Now let's go here. And we're on the sixth rank, so even if they take the opposition, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's take, open up this. I was considering take with the bishop for a while because it would um it would cover more squares, but the thing is um our rook was also guarding, so it made more sense to open up the file because the rook would cover even more squares. Okay, this is a nice one. The smothered mate. Okay, another one. Um, I guess we take in here and then pushing the pawn. And I didn't calculate the knight path to see what's going on. Okay, there's a nice pin. Well, let's go here. These Diagonals are kind of hard to see, like for those checks, but when you do enough puzzle rush, you eventually, um, eventually start seeing those a lot easier. Okay, what is this? Um, let's go here and then threaten the fork as well as the queen. They defend the queen, but they can't escape the fork. And I guess this is good. Wait, we can't take because the bishop's there. We could take that now. Let's take and then checkmate. Okay, and a sideways version of that pattern where we win the queen, that smothered mate again. Win the queen, I didn't see that, but we're just recapturing things. Need to be recaptured, and it's oh no, 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 they go down here. Okay, go here first. And then pick up their rook or whatever. Oh, that was a mouse slip. Okay, we can't go here. We could take though, and then take back that way. They're getting checkmated somehow. Um, this one's good. What is this though? Can go here and then give this check. This one's a, always a really nice check. With you just um, promote the queen without a care in the world, and, and it works out because it's double check. Hey, free queen. We're gonna have to resize this soon. We got a nice fork. Take and take and take all the pawns and promote. 
Right, let's go up here. Another one of these. Okay, let's go here. They don't have a knight that can go to c3, so I did hesitate still before recapturing the bishop, but it was probably possible to do that a little bit faster. Let's go here. Nope, it's not. It's just this, and then if the queen takes, we would have that. Okay, we're gonna have to resize soon. They have a queen guarding, so this is like that other one. And now this is the last one we have to resize it to, and we're good. Move the defender, take the queen. Oh no. Oh wait, we have a bishop. Let's go here. And the fork. If the king stays on um, that whatchamacallit, they would have, um, they would have lost something else too, I think, like the rook. Okay, um, let's go here. Take another one of these, we have to be careful because if they could move the rook back or they can move the king, depending on which way you do, like you just need to follow the, the rook with your bishop so you can't afford to pre-move that. Uh, we don't have a bishop that's guarding that. We can go here, yeah, because then we're threatening that. But then I still I feel like we should just take the knight. Um, okay, yeah, here's another one of those with the the rooks, and it's like you have the right idea, but sometimes I guess it's a calculation thing. But also, there has to be a way to see it pretty quickly as well. And I'm getting there. Like, I do see, like, the final pattern I need to get to a lot of times. I'm just not always really thinking about it. Now, this I don't... Oh, wait. They're... Oh, I thought it was because they're pinned. Hmm. Oh, wait, we can go here because we have a million things guarding up to now. We go here. Nope, we cannot. Um, oh, we have to go here first, no. Okay, I don't know. What is this? I actually don't know. I'm, I'm gonna do the hint. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna add it. I would, I probably already have it added, but yeah, that was like an example of one where I definitely need to be better at. Okay, distract from this thing and take. Okay, yeah, that puzzle just destroyed me. Now I'm like second guessing everything. But like, none of the other ones are gonna be nearly as hard for me. So there's really nothing to worry about. And we're almost done with this attack, both things. Take whichever one is left over. Take, if they take, I would take that. So let's pin. Um, let's go here, thread and stuff. I'll take that. And, okay, that one could have been, it might be underrated, I don't know. Oh, we could take with that thing. Here, we're just going for a checkmate pattern. Oh, uh, no, it's clearly this. Let's go here, take, and then free queen, take, and then free rook, take, and free checkmate, and just checkmate at one. Yeah, it's like that one puzzle I got, and then it's mixed in with these checkmate at ones and smutter mates. Oops, I went right into the queen's path. I was looking for it too. Oops, did, kind of did it again. Open up the thing, and then take, and checkmate. This one, you cannot go all the way up. You gotta get this check to make them go here first and then you can do that. So that's pretty, oops, they, they got me with the bullet trick. That's why you gotta always be careful if they have a possibility of some move, but a lot of times you just don't see it. Okay, let's take and checkmate and almost done. Um, okay, just take the bishop. We take, we lose the rook, 
So let's take this way and then this way. Now, this looks good. Probably checkmate. Um, this one is tricky. Okay, we got that. And then free rook. Look for a check. Free queen. Um, I gotta go here. I almost sacrificed a rook. The knight's pinned. Let's go here. Move out the way. I've moved a king so many times in training, but now I know you just have to take the, um, the whatchamacallit. Okay, let's see. It's this way, and then... Okay, they can't defend with a knight or anything, so they're just gonna lose that bishop. So here, I guess, we're just looking for checks that make sense, and then it turns into this puzzle. I don't know if they had a better defense or not, but... With what they did, it just made it easy for us. I didn't even see that they were going to take the queen. Probably bad on my part, but I'm also kind of tired. Okay, they got a queen guarding, so let's go here, and we win this thing. We can't take with that rook because we're pinned. Let's take, we're defender, take the bishop, and... Okay, let's just get rid of everything, and then... Oh no, they got me. I was moving too fast. Oh, it's not that. It's actually this, and then this, and if they try to, we have a knight guarding that, which is nice. Wait, do the um? So I know we could do that. The arrows, oh, the arrows do change color too when you hold down like all. I don't know if shift is the other one, but that's interesting. Um. Okay, this is scary. Oh, that's what that's the check when you defend like that. Interesting. Okay. Oops. Also, let's see, how long have I been? Oh, another one of these patterns. Oh, wait, 36 minutes? Yeah, this one is taking way longer. So you can see that this this level is a lot more difficult than, than the previous ones when you're trying to do them fast like this. Um, let's take and then go here. But I've had like a really good streak of seemingly easy puzzles for me, so that's a really good sign. But it's for sure like like I'm much slower on this even though there were less puzzles of this than the other one but I did note that there were a lot of underrated puzzles not like t a million but um there were enough to be noticeably like wow actually almost every puzzle is underrated but this is good this is a typical pattern that we all probably know by now. Let's see, we got fork, if they take, we, oh, we don't take, we just take the thing. That one could be underrated because a lot of people would just get distracted with that night capture. Oh wait, we're done, we did 501, oops. Okay, anyway, that was the um, 800 to 899 level. Hope you enjoyed, see you in the next one.